What's up guys? How the heck are you doing today? You know, I want to talk about something that stresses me out almost more than anything. Something that kills my creativity in an instant. And that is clutter or having a messy workspace. So a lot of times my studio space here uh, gets extremely messy just through daily use. And I find myself oftentimes when I go to create, not creating and wanting to clean it instead. And by the time I get done cleaning it, I don't feel like creating. Does this happen to any of you guys? Let me know down in the comments. But uh, that kills my creativity just immediately. So today's vlog is going to be a studio cleaning vlog. And it may not be the most interesting thing in the world, but... It is something I have to get done so I can execute the 98 videos that follow this one um, flawlessly or at least without killing that creative spark. Why is glass so hard to freaking clean? Does anybody have any glass cleaning tips? Because it is something that I hope to get better at one day, maybe by the end of these vlogs, because I absolutely suck at cleaning glass. So how many of you guys had the opportunity to check out the blog post on my website for yesterday's video? Um, you know, if not, go check it out. This is something I really hope that I can keep up with. Like I said, I really like the layout and how it came together with the photos and how if you click on the photos, they get blown up into like a light box mode. Um, I don't know. I really enjoy writing, not just scripts and screenplays, but you know, like essays and opinion pieces and that sort of thing. So um, hopefully not just this vlog will sharpen some of my uh, storytelling, filmmaking skills and just uh, get my creativity flowing. But hopefully with the blog and the blog post, it will sharpen some of my writing skills that I have been neglecting recently. Because um, I was always that weird person in school that really enjoyed writing essays and papers. You know, when the professor comes to class, he's like, hey, you guys have a nine page paper. I was that guy that was in like a Red Bull induced like uh, frenzy, knocking out that nine pages in like half a day. And um, normally always did really well because I had, you know, a passion for writing or have a passion for writing. Um, I took like a screenwriting class in college and I took like creative writing classes and I've always loved English. So... Um, this is something I really enjoy, so hopefully you guys are checking it out, and um, feel free to comment over there on those uh, posts as well. So, this is my desk, uh, part of it, one of my desks in my studio. I have, honestly, like three desks out here, but this is where like my, uh, my main editing computer is at and all of that, but um, it's a lot of where the clutter seems to congregate and it's interesting because a lot of my favorite things are here um are a lot of things that i use a lot on a daily basis and i kind of just want to you know show you guys some of those things as as i'm cleaning them up so uh first and foremost um let's take a look at it this right here this is very vital to me this is a sewing kit so um I, I never grew up learning how to sew, and it's something that I had taught myself recently because, you know, I'm, I'm pretty hard on clothes, and I like wearing clothes that are worn and comfortable, and when I get a pair of pants or a jacket, you know, they become my favorite, and I hate when I rip a hole in them, so I've had to teach myself how to sew those holes up, as well as, you know, from my punk days and stuff like that, sewing patches on vests and on jackets and stuff like that, so... I always catch myself sewing something here and there, and I had to sew. Um, I had to sew my lunch bag the other day, so that's why my sewing kit's out here. I got to get that put away. Um, not a sponsor, but lifesavers, hard candy. Always good to have some hard candy with you wherever you go. Uh, let's see here. You guys already know that I'm a big fan of the Fuji Film X Pro Three. Um, waiting on that soft shutter to come in that we lost on yesterday's adventure. Uh, my iPad. One piece of tech I have never regretted buying. Um, 
and had buyer's remorse on is my iPad Pro 12.9 inch. I absolutely love this thing. And one of the coolest things about this is I have recently found out uh, that I can, you can do it on your phone, you can do it on a website, but it looks great on the iPad and that is looking at old issues of Fangoria magazine on Fangoria's website. It just looks excellent on the iPad. So that's this thing right here. Uh, any trip I go on, any extended travel, any extended stay anywhere, the iPad Pro is always with me. Absolutely love this thing. Uh, as well as this little Logitech keyboard. And you guys know I'm a fan of DaVinci Resolve, especially on the iPad. It's a powerhouse. Um, this is why I go broke on cameras. Freaking ND filters. I have to have ND filters for every single camera I buy. Doesn't matter if it's a drone, doesn't matter if it's the Insta360 Go 3. That's actually what these ones go to. Doesn't matter if it's a GoPro, doesn't matter if it's a cinema camera, mirrorless camera, drone. Uh, doesn't freaking matter. I have so many ND filters and these things are not cheap. They'll charge you like $60 to $70 for something like this. It's outrageous, but these are always just thrown all over my desk. Uh, let's see what else we got here. We have Kony Wonders 100 Vlogs. Like I said, I talked about this in the original uh, jump off video for this series. Uh, Hereditary on VHS. This is, my wife got me this and uh, it is a special edition Hereditary from Square Peg and Palm Star uh, on VHS. Hereditary to me, is one of the best modern day horror films um, that's made and written and directed by Ari Aster. Um, amazing film. I collect horror VHS. If you're new here, you may not know that. But uh, I had this out because I was looking at um, some of the stuff about the VHS who made it. So that's there. Coffee. Coffee's always just around me or coffee cups that I need to put in my dishwasher. Um, so my desk collects a lot of mess. Uh, do you guys know what this is? One of the best drinks on the planet. This is Arnold Palmer, half and half. Half iced tea and half lemonade. Uh, 99 cents for 22 ounce. This is one of the best drinks known to man. Uh, let me see, what else do we have here that is just laying around on the desk? We have this little template. Template. Um, I am using this to draw up some tattoo designs for a friend. Um, that's really it. You know, I have some miscellaneous SD cards and stuff like that. Uh, a bottle of water, stuff like that. But my desk accumulates a lot of junk. And they had a quote one time that said, "A mess, messy desk is a sign of a brilliant mind." And I don't. I don't really, I don't really believe that. I think a messy desk is just a sign of um, somebody who refuses to put stuff away. What do you guys think? So one reason my studio is so messy all the time is because I collect so many random different things. Um, look at this. I am looking for the other three versions. This has four, um, four versions or four different editions, and I have number four. I'm looking for versions one through three and look at this. This is a McDonald's scary sound effects tape uh, that I found at a thrift store uh, from 1995. And I don't know if it came in Happy Meals or what this came in, but stuff like this I collect. And then, um, yeah, and then I just sort of set it around on bookshelves and you know, I have a million and one cameras here in my studio, you know, um, just taking up space. Um, not to mention the ones back here on this shelf here, um, just, you know, that is part of the reason I get stressed out is because I have so much crap just laying around and, uh, you know, very little place, place to put it. Um, I could really benefit from like a studio warehouse where I have different areas set up to shoot in instead of really shooting where all my belongings are. Uh, speaking of cameras, 
check this one out. So Tawny bought me this uh, not long ago. We are at a thrift store. They had a bunch of different cameras. And uh, she said, hey, pick something out that you want. She'd get it for me. And she got me this right here. This is a disposable camera from 1999. Um, that is a New Year's Eve camera that puts one of four different messages on your pictures. Here they are right here. And uh, it is still sealed, so it has not been used. And I'm gonna use it. Maybe I'll use it in one of our vlog videos. And uh, go ahead and get the, um, the film developed and see what comes out with it. You know, I just love stuff like this. I love shooting film. I love the look of film. And when you find little you know, crazy niche products like this. I'm a sucker for this kind of stuff. So this is one side of the studio over here that you don't see very often. And this is some of the VHS collection. Um, it is sort of set up as a shooting background for, I had a Cinema Creep horror movie review YouTube channel for a while. Um, I'm trying to find a co-host for that, so before I start uh, shooting that again, I need to find a co-host, but this was sort of the background shooting area for that, and uh, this is one of my prized possessions right here. This is just a 13-inch um, TV with a VCR built in and, uh, you know, perfect bookshelf TV. These things are super, super gnarly, and... Uh, yeah, some, sometimes I sit out here and I just watch VHS on my little TV and uh, perfectly content. That's, that's how weird I am. You know, one of my favorite things in my studio is this banner, or this flag I have here. It's from a company called Indestructible Manufacturing Co. And it says indestructible working class on it and it's something i like having hanging in here just to remind me you know of how proud i am to be part of the working class um you know i think that it's really important to always just be proud of you know doing hard work being part of the working class and not always just aspiring to be uh that one percent it's okay to be um you know, blue collar, it's okay to be middle class, it's okay, okay to work a trade job, it's okay to um, not be a millionaire, right? And that is one thing, you know, if you talk about these uh, writers that are on strike right now, a lot of these guys, they're working class writers, they're not, you know, your 1%, they're not living lavish lifestyles, they just want a fair wage and a livable wage for what they're doing. And I think something like this is very important to always just keep um, at your core beliefs because without the working class, the 1% can't survive. Nobody can survive without the working class. So um, I hope you guys resonate with that as well. And also beneath it is, check this out. This is a baby coffin with a creepy bridal doll in it. If you're a longtime subscriber of the channel, you've probably seen the short uh, where I show inside here, if I can get it open, how creepy is that? Yeah, I got that from a weird little thrift store. Um, I try to keep it closed. Yeah, I think we're going to stop cleaning and we're going to go, we're going to go work on this hair. You know, I'm a big proponent of going to barber shops, but uh, for the last little while I've been cutting my hair and I've gotten pretty good at it. So um, again, I love being self-sufficient and uh, learning those skills. Now I'm not saying I can do as good of a job as a barber, but pretty damn close. So uh, yeah, let's take care of this. Hopefully this haircut looks a little bit better in tomorrow's video.
All right, so the haircut is done and I have to say it looks pretty good if I may say so myself. Um, it's pretty easy to do, short on the sides, long on top. Um, it might be kind of hard to see, but I'm getting a lot of gray here in the sides of my hair. Um, but the funny thing is, is I'm a hat guy 98% of the time. Uh, so I don't even know why I bother really with trying to cut my hair nice. Um, but I do appreciate a nice haircut and I'm trying to wear a hat less and less as I get older, but honestly, I feel naked without it. So, um, here we are. So today's video, I know was kind of nonsensical, had nothing to do with photo video or um, editing related, and that is some of what you're going to get in the daily vlogs. Um, but I tried to show you guys some of my favorite things, cleaned up my studio a bit. Um, it is always a work in progress. It is not 100% clean right now because I stopped to, to cut my hair. But tomorrow's video will be a little bit more exciting because we are headed to the mountain and uh, we're gonna do some drone flying and some photography and stuff up there. But if you guys are feeling these daily vlogs thus far, let me know down in the comments. Um, like, subscribe, comment, and uh, hit that notification bell so you don't miss when I drop a vlog. I'm trying to drop them at 3 p.m. Uh, Eastern time every single day, um, but they may you know, be slightly earlier, slightly later. I'm just really doubling down on trying to get them done every single day. But 3 p.m. is the goal. Um, also, don't forget to check out the supplemental blog post to today's video. And as always, guys, stay rad. Just go shoot, and I'll catch you on the next one. See ya. See you tomorrow. And the next day. Oh, my God.